Hello, YouTubers. Uh, yeah, today I want to talk to you about a power of prayer. Uh, recently, uh, I was praying with my uh, friend who was who is a powerful prayer person too. Um, and uh, we were praying about my uncle being like divorced because uh, he was going through a divorce, and you know he was supposed to be a pastor, but he didn't really walk the path. And uh, now, um, God, God slowly took uh, took away his finances, and his businesses started going down. And you know, God took away, you know, his health, so he had diabetes. And then God uh, now was, you know, taking away his wife, and, and they're going through a divorce. And you know, uh, he was repenting, and he was he was crying and all that. But you know, he was getting all divorced and stuff. So uh, I I was kind of you know, uh, you know, touched by how he was repenting. So. Me and my uh, uh, friend, uh, we prayed in my car for him for about thirty minutes, you know, in in, in words and in tongues, and and then um, God showed me a picture, you know, where he was, I uh, where where he showed me his wife, and she was like half covered in darkness, you know, underneath her covered in darkness. So I was always probably like all these demon demonic demons, you know. You know, attached to changing our mind and stuff, but um, so yeah, we we kept them praying and then we start binding demons and stuff, and we prayed in tongues for them, uh, but you know, like my friend was kind of getting kind of tired, like oh, like how long do you have to pray, Lord? You know, show us, you know, show us, or how long do you have to pray? And we kept them praying in tongues. We kept them praying. You know, we prayed prayed about thirty minutes more. You know, then and then I had another uh, picture in my head. You know, uh, where. It was it was her and then she was wearing this wedding dress and she looked glorious she looked like radiant you know with light so I was like oh yeah maybe we got an answer you know and then we were like oh hallelujah you know, thank you Jesus you know for answering the prayer and um, two weeks later I asked my mom um oh so what happened to him you know like uh, are they still getting divorced and she's like yeah they're still getting divorced you know so I was like kind of discouraged I was like oh man, like maybe they're still getting divorced you know I don't know you know that's so what I was thinking. But I still had hope, you know, maybe it takes maybe more time. So on the third week, you know, uh, like, like somebody called my house and uh, my mom picked up and, you know, it was my uncle. And he said, you know, oh, like uh, everything's solved, like uh, they're getting back together, you know, and they, uh, they decided to, you know, they decided to pass this, you know, divorce thing, you know, as nothing happened. You know, I was like, oh, wow, that, that's glorious. You know, so the prayers did get answered. But I think it required his repentance and, you know, that he, he, he's trying to dedicate his life back to God this time. And it required that. And it required us intercessors, you know, interceding for him. And then, you know, when I, re I think I realized that, you know, it takes certain amount of prayer, you know, certain amount of prayer for your prayers to be answered. And that's what I realized because, you know, God showed us a picture that, you know, she's still half, you know, half covered in darkness. So, like, I think we cleared half of it, you know, by praying about 30 minutes before. And then, you know, she still had half covered in darkness. I don't know, you know, what the darkness means, you know. Demons or devils are still, you know, darkness. And then we prayed more, and then now she was glorious. And you know, God, showed me, God showed us a picture. And, you know, um, uh, I believe, you know, um, you know, if you if you don't have the gift of tongues, you know, uh, all you gotta do is ask for it. You know, it says in Luke Luke chapter eleven thirteen, you know, if if you then being evil know how to give good, know know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask? Right. So, uh, Father will give you the Holy Spirit gifts if you ask for it, but then uh, it also requires you fasting. For for sure, fasting will get you the gift, and I I, I made many videos on those so how to get them. So just watch those if you have questions. And um, my thought is now this: you know, if we can change a person's mind through interceding prayer and with having a prayer partner, because we prayed together, you know, I had a prayer partner to be praying for a certain matter, a targeted prayer, a prayer that has a target. So what we did was basically prayed with two people right two or three gathered together there I am with you that's what Jesus said you know right and we were praying for you know against the 
divorce, you know, which God hates divorce. So, you know, we're praying according to God's will. You know, it's the second thing, right? And the third thing was uh, that we, uh, we were praying with words first, and then we targeted that words with the gift of tongues, by praying in tongues for like, seriously, 30 minutes or something like that. And then while we were doing that, we started binding demons that are against them. You know, any spiritual powers and principalities or, you know, evil spirits that are on them, we bind them. In the name of Jesus, and they start casting out. You know, I, I even have hand motion and everything when I was praying in the names because I have to imagine. I use my imagination when I pray, you know, that those things are there, you know. And, and I start binding those things and I imagine the power of the Holy Spirit like capturing them. And then I cast them out and then the power, power of the Holy Spirit just cast them out of them. That's what I, you know, use my imagination. You know, for God will use... For, for instance, in the Bible, whatever the man thinketh in himself, so is he, right? So, like, God will use your thinking, your, emo uh, your, your imagination. So that's what you have to use also when you're interceding for people, you know? And, uh, what's it called? Yeah, so, like, uh, this is what I was thinking, you know, uh, why don't we start commenting, you know, on, on the bottom here, whatever, you know, needs prayer, uh, prayers to be answered, we... We start praying for them, you know, anybody who, who sees the prayers, uh, you know, um, prayer requests on the comment section, you know, we start interceding for them because it's two or three more gathered and I, I mean, I bet like a lot of people have a lot of things to be prayed for. So, you know, we start praying for each other, you know, that's, that's called love for other people and we're not just going to be selfish with our own stuff. So yeah, I wanna, I'll, I'll just start off with uh, my, uh, my prayer requests, you know. I'm doing business, so uh, please pray for my business. And also, I'm, you know, making new songs. You know, um, I'm gonna put it on YouTube for free, and then make it download downloadable if you want it. If you want to bless me or not, you know, it's gonna be like a dollar song or something like that. So the music is gonna be all Christian music, but it's gonna be uh, good Christian music, it's like like good sounding, really like, you know, kind of like modern culture type stuff. But it's gonna be good. Anyways, uh, that. So pray for that for me and. Also, uh, you know, I'm looking for a wife, so also give me, you know, please pray for a good wife for me. And, um, you know, my my cousin in Korea, you know, he's, he's seemingly demon-possessed. And, you know, we've been praying for him, but I think we need more prayer, so please pray for him. And uh, pray for my uh, family in Korea. They they do not believe in Jesus, and uh, some, some do not believe in Jesus, and some are financially and spiritually down so i want you to pray for them you know, just pray for uh just alfred's family you know and then that'll be it and we'll continue on and, and you guys put your own uh, prayer requests and you know i'll pray for them and people you know whoever sees them just pray for them just read it and ask in, ask it in jesus name and ask for the gift of tongues too if you want you know power of god you know to be manifesting greatly and it's not just given to the holy people first you might start off you know, you might not be unholy, but God even hears prayers of unholy people too. So, you know, all you got to do is seek to be holy. And then if you're asking for those, write them, write them down. I want to be holy because, because we cannot do it without power of God. But with power of God, everything is possible. And even even people who are atheists and who, who don't believe in God, you know, pray like pray for them. Because, I mean, God changed, it, changed my aunt's uh, mind to get married again. So... God can change anybody's mind because, I mean, how do we believe in first place, you know, by somebody else's prayers. So uh, pray for that and this will be a powerful, you know, thing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All the glory to you. We're just tools. We're just tools of God. So we don't get the glory, but it's all for Jesus. And, and when we go into heaven, you know, we'll get paid whatever the work we did. So pray, you know, so if you want to get paid in heaven, right, a lot more than what you're going to get paid with. Okay, God bless. Amen.